Hello, good day and welcome to Josu. My name is Edwin and on this video I'll be showing you how to log static data using our Sino GNSS receivers directly to Rhinex file. So by default, if you're logging a static data using the Sino GNSS receivers, it will save the file as a CMB file. So the CMB is a common binary file that is the default for Sino GNSS receivers. But if you want to save, if you want to log your static directly to Rhinox, and you don't want to go through the process of converting from CMB to Rhinox, if you want to use other softwares to do, to do your static processing, you can log directly to Rhinox. We'll be making use of our controller. Now, for the normal way, if you want to log static, you come to the receiver and you just click on this download button. You press down for about three seconds and it will start logging your static. Now, when it is logging, it will be blinking the orange colored light on the download button. So once you're done, you press down again, it will stop recording. So that is all. Now the one we did now, we save to the receiver memory in a CMD file. But if you are logging directly to Rhinex, you will be using your controller. So the first thing we are going to do is to connect our controller to the receiver. So we'll go to uh, Serving Master, we'll go to Device, and then we'll click on Connection. We'll go to Target Device, and then we are connecting first to our N3. So we we'll select our N3 receiver. And that we've connected. So we don't need to create a job, we don't need to set our coordinate system, we just need to go to static. Now, if I want to log the static file and save it to my controller, I will click on controller. But if I want to save it to the receiver memory, I would click on receiver memory. Now, the difference between the two is that if I'm logging to my controller, I cannot disconnect the controller from the receiver. I have to leave it connected until I'm done with the downloading stop my downloading and then i can disconnect but if you are connecting to if you are logging to receiver memory you can start the process here disconnect from this one and connect to another receiver so you can have multiple receivers working at the same time so you just need to enter the name for the file so we we'll use static or N3 Rhinex static or Rhin N3 Rhinex. So we've entered the name. And the next thing we'll do is we click on advance. Here is where we enter the height of our antenna. Our antenna height is 1.6, so we've already entered that. Our sampling seconds is at one second interval, one second, one second interval. Our split, five split is at manual the data format so this is here we set our data format now the default which is the cmb is also here and then we have rhinex 2.10 then rhinex 3.102 so you select the format you want to you want to log to uh, cmb you select cmb if you want to log to rhinex directly you select rhinex then after that you just click on start recording so once you click on start recording you see that your download button here has also started to link now with this you can disconnect so we want to disconnect now we'll go back it's asking us if we want to continue service so once we click on not keep it will stop the recording but once we click on keep it will continue recording so from here we can go to connection disconnect from our n3 and then connect to our n2 receiver device connected rover pda cores so connected to our end to the same process we go to static go to receiver memory so this now will be end to rhinex we go to advance the same setup is here but then for this one we need to measure the height of our receiver from there to the tip and this is going to be slant height since we are using a tripod 
it's not going to be pole height. Pole height is if you are using a pole, the GNSS pole. But for tripod, you are using slant height. So you measure the height of your receiver to this point, and then you enter the height. So we are going to enter that as 1.450 and it's our slant height so we'll click on ok our sampling second is still going to be one second our sampling time so our data format is going to be right next of course then we'll click on start recording so if you click on start recording you see the recording indicator is, in, is showing here which is the green light for n2 so the same process we have the two of them logging static now if i want to stop the static of this i will go back to connection disconnect from the n2 device disconnected go to n3 device connected if i go to static radio. go to if you, if you, as you can see now the receiver memory is showing recording so as i enter receiver memory i can now click on stop recording with that i've stopped recording my right next data for my n3 the same process I go back to connection disconnect from the device entry go to my n2 device connected. go Robert back to static and stop stop recording so the both of them have stopped recording so that is how to record uh, static data directly to Rhinex now ordinarily if you are recording to CMB and you want to use other processing software to do your processing, you would have to convert to Rhinex. But with this method, you don't need to do converting again, you just log directly to Rhinex and do your processing using any software of your choice. So thank you very much and do have a wonderful day.